Hello. In the previous video, we looked at the general concept behind frequency modulation. To do so, we put both operators in fixed mode and change the frequency of the second one slowly. We saw that at certain points, it tended to lock in. That was when it was at a simple ratio to each other. When we get to those points where the two oscillators or two operators are at a simple ratio, the sound locks in and becomes harmonic. In this next example, we're going to take it out of fixed mode. Um, and when we're out of fixed mode, the, the frequency and multiplier knobs become a coarse and fine adjustment. And because they're set up um, like this, they become ratios. If I say this, if I put this to two, this is going to be twice the frequency of that one. And since frequency modulation works best or most harmonic, when the, when the operators are in simple ratios, this really makes a lot of sense. If I set this 2 to 1, I'm sure that anywhere I play on the keyboard, it will be a harmonic sound at least. It may not be the sound I want, but it will be in tune with itself. Let's try it out. We also see the change in the level of this modulating operator has a major impact on the timbre of the overall sound. We see it in the, the peaks here. We also hear this complex change happening. It's interesting what's happening is all the energy from this fundamental is being distributed among the various harmonics and the fundamental will go down as other comes up and it's actually following a Bessel function, something you might want to research uh, if you want to explore FM synthesis further. So these complex variations are happening. Now, I like those that, that complex movement. That's, that's something that would be hard to achieve with an LFO in a, in a subtractive synthesizer. But if I um, bring this, if I change the envelope, now the envelope for each operator is adjusting its level. So it is, this envelope is going to be basically controlling this parameter right here. And if I move that slowly, I can have those same dynamic changes of, ta of timbre happen automatically. It's, Increase my attack time here. Um, we'll do like a full, about a full second. We'll hit a note. Reaches the top. So we have this, 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 this ch uh, slowly change. Let's make it even slower. So in this, with this type of algorithm, the envelopes become timbre envelopes. They become the change in the timbre over time. So this is very, very useful. I could, I could set up this operator right here um, to slowly fade in, or a, you know, kind of fade in a um, kind of more complex sound. I'll increase the sustain here and come down a little. So we get this kind of sound. It kind of settles in. Now, if I put this a little bit out of tune, I'll just set it to one, then I get some a little bit of that detuned, out of tune FM that we had earlier. And it gets a little bit of a vibrato as we go. Let's set it to two. Now, I keep this very small or it gets, it gets too crazy quickly. Let's see. Sounds pretty good. Okay, so a little out of tune there can be nice, gives it a more analog kind of feel. So these envelopes become timbre envelopes. Now this one will still be our overall main volume envelope. So if I wanted um, the sound to be like a percussion instrument or totally fade out, I could adjust that right here. Right, so this is still our master envelope. Remember, this is just changing the uh, frequency of this one. So this one is still our main volume, or is our main volume, and this is just a timbre envelope, say. Now, it'd be nice 
um, to be able to do multiple ones of these. I'll use this to control. This is kind of the body of its sound. Maybe this one to give it a bit of attack, uh, a bite of an attack. Now, how we have the algorithm set up right now, this operator is only going to modulate the pitch of this one, which modulates the frequency of this one, right? So because this is slowly fading in, this isn't going to have much of an effect right in the beginning. What I really like is each one of these to be frequency modulating this one. That way I could have this one kind of change the attack and this one kind of change the sustain. I'd have a nice, nice bit of control. So I'm going to go over here and change my algorithm to this one right here. And this one you can see that operator B is modulating A, C is modulating A, and D is modulating A. So I'll be able to take C, and I'll give it, you know, I'll turn off B entirely, and we'll just try to set up something for C. Let's see what we'll do. I'll get rid of that. Turn that back up. Okay, so I get this like high pitch thing. You'll notice that because there's a simple ratio, simple ratio, 18 to 1, that I'm always emphasizing a portion of this harmonic series. That's actually very cool and it makes it easy to set up some complex sounds. So we have this high pitch ring up there, but I'd like that just to be an attack. So we'll take this and we'll just reduce the sustain to nothing and the decay, make it even faster. And we can get a nice click at the beginning of the sound. Then by enabling this one again. Okay. So this is a great algorithm to use to add multiple things. Now let's try one more and I'll enable this one. And I'm going to have this one come in. Um, we'll, we'll just disable these and, and just try this one out. to 0.5 of that, we actually get the note below the original note. We see these side bands appear below the note, okay? And I'll have this fade in very slowly, so it comes in even after the other one. We'll have it come in. See, this one was set to 1.4 seconds. This one will come in 2 seconds. Let's see what happens when we enable them all. This came in too fast. Let's make it come in. You know what? This envelope is actually very cool and enables some interesting things. Like if I set this peak to nothing, then I can have this act as almost a delay. So it comes in. We'll have it come in um, right at four seconds. It'll just come and zip in. Let's watch that. So we're still only scratching the surface of what's possible with FM and operator. But we've seen this is a great algorithm to start with because you can treat these separately. They're all just modulating the frequency of this one. We've seen that setting simple ratios will give us harmonic sounds. We've seen that we can use these envelopes to adjust the timbre of the first oscillator and that the envelope is nice and complex and by setting the peak all the way down we can use the attack as sort of a delay parameter. Very powerful synth we've only touched the surface of.